welcome back to my first proper video of 2019. Hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It feels like ages ago that it was actually Christmas. Um, it feels like it was sort of months ago. I can't even remember what happened. But anyway, I hope you guys had a nice time. I was ill over New Year's, like I told you. Um, so videos have been really scarce. I haven't had the opportunity to come outside and film. However, today, even though it's really cold again, I know I always moan about the weather, but it's really cold today. But I need to get a video filmed for you guys for today, which is Friday. Now, for Christmas, there was a couple of little car-related things that I asked for. I'm currently sitting in the Astra, and the Astra needs some new boot struts. Ever since I put that GSI spoiler on, I mean, the struts were never that good anyway, but the boot struts that hold the boot up, um, since I put the GSI spoiler on have been even worse because obviously adding more weight to the boot means the struts are under more pressure and they have to lift more weight um, so I've got some brand new ones and I'm hoping that that is going to help um, lift the boot up and assist me so that it doesn't fall on my head like it does at the moment. Another thing I got was a rear number plate bulb, an LED one um, so I'm going to be fitting that today but those two things are not the main reason for this video today. The main reason for today's video is a present that I also got for Christmas, some bonnet struts. Now I've wanted to put bonnet struts on a car for ages however the cars that I've had previous to this the kits to do it have always been extortionate like I'm talking like 50 60 pounds for like the kit for the struts and the mounts to put it on however for the Astra I managed to find a kit which I'm hoping is going to work and it was around 20 pounds and I got that for Christmas so that's what we're going to do today we're going to attempt to fit it so without further ado I'm going to get the Astra in the driveway we'll get the gazebo up to try and protect us because it looks like it's going to rain and then we'll crack on and try and get some bonnet struts fitted to the car Right, this is what we need. The gazebo is still out the back here from when I did uh, the painting of the table and that's still set up in the gazebo. So I'm going to take this down, luckily it's just a pop-up one so this will come down nice and easily. I'm going to take it down, stick out the front um, and that will give me some sort of protection from this, what looks like is going to be rain. Tell you what, the thermometer on my car is telling me that's four degrees, but there's no way. Look at the colour of my hands. They're like red. I've got the heater on in here, in the shed, and I literally don't want to leave. That's on, it's lovely and warm in here, and I do not want to go outside right now. It's so nice. Right, so whilst I quickly warm up, I'll just quickly show you the uh, kit that I've got. This is it in the box here. Um, I think it's from Germany or somewhere like that. So it, I think it was the only one on here at the price that I bought it for. I'm not sure whether this was second hand but new from someone, I'm not sure, because it's all still in the packaging. Um, however, it was cheaper than a lot of the other kits that I've seen on there. I'll quickly just show you what it looks like. So essentially, you get two struts like you would have on your boot. Um, and then on the end, there's a bunch of different bolts and mounts and all sorts of stuff to mount it to the car. You do get a set of instructions, which is good. However, <laughs> although this was listed as an Astra G uh, kit, it doesn't actually tell you how to fit it to an Astra G. It tells you how to do it to a bunch of different VW, so Golfs, Polos, all that sort of thing. And then on this side, we've got Opel Vectra, Corsa, A and B, uh, and then you've got Astra F at the end here which I assume is probably going to be the one that I'm going to follow because it's probably similar but the even the instructions are not the most straightforward however I'm just going to take the mounts out of the bags have a look at what we've got um, see where they could actually go and then just try a couple of different things and see if we can get it to work Right, so I've got my strut and I've got the mount which I think is going to be mounting to the bonnet. I assume that they want you to mount it to maybe this bolt here or the lower one or this one, not entirely sure. Um, but I think that if I take one of these bolts out, that will mount to that and that will be the top sword. And then I've just got to figure out the best place to do this. I think from the picture it says to drill a new hole round about here, um, which would make sense because that's about where the strut sort of finishes, you see it there, it's pressing up against that there, 
and then it sits around about there. So I'm thinking if I bolt the top in, take that bolt out, bolt that in as it should be, I can then find out where I need to drill here, drill a hole. I don't think this bolt hole is going to be usable because it's too far down. This hole is too far up. Um, so I think I'm going to have to drill around about here, which is fine. So I just thought I'd try and use Google Translate to translate these uh, instructions. These are not German, like what I said at the start of the video, this is actually in Dutch. Um, I tried to translate this into English so I could sort of understand what I need to do. Um, but Google Translate is pretty rubbish. I took a picture of it and it's essentially just told me it in Dutch again um, with a couple of different words in English. Um, smaller, under C. What, what's stupid look? That's the Dutch version. That's apparently the English version, which is uh, no different. So that's rubbish. I'm going to have to just try and wing it and do it myself. So I've gone ahead and bolted the first strap to there. You can see how I've got it orientated. Uh, the ball is at the bottom at the moment. I'm not entirely sure how it's supposed to go, if it's supposed to be on the side, top, bottom, whatever. And um, this side is still just flapping about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly close the bonnet and just see if this actually clears all this stuff up here because it does poke out quite a lot as you can see so um, I'm just gonna see if it'll clear all that stuff actually no it's not even gonna work is it it's gonna bend like that it's a good job it didn't close I wonder if it's meant to be inwards then like that does that look about right I want it's like that I don't think that that's gonna shut with it poking outwards so it's gonna have to be either upwards don't know I'm gonna try it both ways and see what happens Right, so after about 10 minutes of messing with this whole strut situation and, and trying all different various ways that it can sit, I think that I finally sussed it. Um, this is how it's currently set up. So the mount, the L bracket mount thing, is actually facing that way. I had it so that it was facing this way. Um, this part here was like poking out this way. Whereas instead, that is how it sits right there. And then I've got it mounted in the hole. It's not completely tight yet. I haven't like bolted it down properly, um, but that's the sort of that's sort of what it's going to look like from the side um, looks a bit steep I don't know whether I have to drill a hole sort of further down maybe like down here um, but that's where it's sitting and it seems to work so I've only got one on at the minute the other side's not on yet so bear in mind that it won't lift it as well as it will with two but if I sort of put this down like so and then with one hand I can open it and you can hear the strut lifting and it holds it so the, the original bonnet stay is still here, let's sit down here. But that one strut on its own will hold it. So you can imagine with two, um, it should be way better. And it should actually lift it. As soon as you open it with the latch, it should actually open on its own um, when it gets to a certain point, just like the boot does. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go ahead and fit the other side, um, just exactly the same way as I did there. Get it all tightened and bolted down nicely. And then we can test them out, make sure they work. My hands, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, are so red, they're absolutely numb. It's really cold out here, it must be like, one degrees if not zero degrees so let's go ahead and get this bonnet strut install wrapped up So I think we are finally there. I think I've got both the bonnet struts now fitted as they should be. As you can see, that's the passenger side. That's the driver's side. You can just about see that. So I haven't actually tested it yet. So this is gonna be the first try. Don't. Right, you ready? It's holding it up, obviously, as you can see, because one of them did. So let's just, oh my God, it's actually hard to push down. Okay, so that's not fully shut, but that's, uh, as you can see, it all clears and stuff. There's no issues with the bonnet closing with those on there, so that's good. So if we were to unlatch it and pick it up, ta-da, do you see that? That is awesome. Let's just do it one more time. So from about this point, as you can see, that high up, um, from about here, it's still a little bit heavy, um, but as soon as it gets to up there as you can see it just goes up completely on its own that is amazing not only is that good not only is that good because it saves me having to like physically lift it up 
and put the manual latch up and hold it up. But when you're actually working on the car, you imagine when this was used to be up, let's just put the manual one in its place. So that'd be about there usually. Um, say you're working on the engine, I found myself constantly like hitting my elbow on it, hitting my hand on it, my head. Um, it just kind of gets in the way because especially if you're working in this area where the air filter is, it does really get in the way. So that is no more. I'll actually end up taking that off. And now we have got a clear path so we can't hit our hands on anything, can't hit our elbows or anything. That is actually awesome. I'm well happy with that. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the chrome. Um, but I could always paint them if I wanted to or I can get black ones and if they ever go bad you can buy replacement struts for these and you can uh, get all different sort, sorts of colours and stuff so there you go that is bonnet struts installed on the Astra right so as I said at the start of the video that was the main job was to get these bonnet struts done but that wasn't the only job for today um, I said at the beginning of the video that my boot struts which are what these are we're going to stick on the theme of struts uh, the boot struts on my car on the Astra are actually really weak let me just show you quickly what happens when I open the boot if I just lift it up um, even when it gets to sort of this high you see how big that gap is just falls the struts are pretty much doing nothing it's only when you get it that high up that it actually sort of does anything and actually holds it anything about here as you can see it just falls I'm not even touching that there and I'll just fall no good so I'm gonna take these off replace them they do look quite old and you can see there's a bunch of residue around here if the camera will focus a bunch of residue around there so they've obviously been leaking for a while a bunch of oil up there as well so we'll get these changed out and hopefully that'll make a difference on uh, and our boot won't fall on our heads anymore that's what I'm hoping That's much better. It's not amazing because that wing, bear in mind that this spoiler um, is not factory, so this spoiler should never be on there. And it is quite a heavy spoiler, you can see how chunky it is. Um, so the weight of that does impede on these struts, they're not made for it. But as you can see, when it gets to a certain point, sort of halfway, um, not only does it hold, but if you give it a little nudge, it will actually lift itself up now, which is exactly what it should do. And I don't have to worry about that smacking me on the head anymore, so that's good. I'm happy with that. So the third and final thing I want to do today is in this box right here. Uh, let me just get it unwrapped and I'll show you exactly what it is. Completely off topic, but who remembers the brand Mitre? I found this in like a random shop for like four pound. And it's like a like a 90s old school uh, top that you'd wear when you were a kid. I actually quite like it. Now this is the thing that I want to install. This is a, a number plate light for an Astra. And it's an LED one you can see it plugs into the like original thing but in there you can see it's like a bunch of little SMD LEDs this is gonna light up white I did put a brand new standard one in when I sort of fixed the car up and um, but LEDs always better so we're gonna stick an LED one in there this again is gonna be super easy um, this just pulls out I'm gonna use my pick again as you can see this one's pretty shiny because this one was brand new not long ago so that's how it pulls out. Um, we need to take off the casing, the, the clear casing. That needs to come off. Like so we need, then need to take the bulb out. And then this is pretty much just gonna act as a bulb. That'll twist in as it should. Right, and before I put it in, I'm just gonna quickly test that and just make sure it works um, before I go ahead and fit it all. Hey, there we go. Wow, that is bright, actually. Jesus. Nice, I like that. And then just fit it back in to the slot, like so. There you go. That was a super quick install, like 30 seconds worth. Let me just turn my lights off so buzzing stops. There we go. Well, I'm gonna clear up all my stuff now and then we'll wrap this video up. 
Right, so that is going to wrap up today's video. I know it wasn't overly exciting and we didn't do too much overly exciting stuff. However, these are the bits that I got for Christmas. I wanted to get them installed and it gives you guys something to watch. So pretty successful day. The bonnet struts, although a little bit fiddly and the instructions were awful because they're in Dutch, um, I managed to get them fitted. I managed to figure out which way they go. So if you want to get some yourself, you can pick them up off of eBay and places like that. So, so grab yourself some of them. They are very useful. Also boot struts, they got fitted. Uh, the boot now opens a lot easier as you would expect. So I'm also very happy with that. And then the number plate light as well. We switched out the halogen one for a nice LED one, so that should light up the number plate nicely um, and look nice and white and fit in with all the rest of the lights on the car. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'm wearing my Savage Garage hoodie. I had to order a new one because mine was too small that I got sent originally. The, the prototype one that I got sent originally was actually a little bit too small for me, um, so I went ahead and ordered a large. So if you want to grab yourself a hoodie, um, go ahead and grab yourself one. The stickers are out of stock. The Long Savage Garage one and the Red Savage one are both out of stock at the moment. Um, the Circa ones, I've still got loads of them, but I need to order in some of the others. Um, so if you are waiting for any or if you're looking to order any, um, I'm going to get some in in the next week, so they'll be back up on the store for that. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to stay up to date on things that I get up to day to day. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end this video by saying one thing. If everything goes to plan tomorrow, which is Saturday, that Corsa right there should be gone. And there should be a new project sitting in its place. That's all I'm going to say about that subject. Leave down in the comments what you think I may be getting. I'll see you guys in the next one.